Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial today as I'm going to uh, show you guys how to align the INS system in the 747-200 so you get a rough idea and understand how to program it and you'll see that it's really quite simple in understanding what to do with it. So, I'm going to put the chart on screen so you guys can see the longitude and latitude coordinates for each waypoint that we're going to do in the flight plan. So I recommend getting your flight plan from Simbrief and once you generate the flight plan and you're happy with it, click generate and scroll down onto the flight plan where you have your payload and under that you'll see all of your heading. As you can see your flight level, you've got your distance, you've got your true track, or your normal track heading, remaining distance etc. But you can see the longitude and lateral coordinates. Let's get started on how to start the SIVA and program it ready for the departure. If we go into the tablet, tablet and we click onto the main menu we can see INS. So if we click INS this is going to give us our insert position. position. So this is our first position to align the aircraft. So we can see we can see the longitude latitude coordinates which is north north 51282 and west is west 0002289. So first thing we want to do is we want to align all of the IRS's the radio master bus is on and now we can see that the SIVA is online. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to twist the dial to a position which we can see all zeros and our first coordinates is north 512282 so we're going to click north as there is north so north 512282 and then we're going to click in insert and then we're going to go to west, which is going to be 000289. So 000289. You don't have to put the zeros in, you could just put 289. As long as the, the zeros, as soon as the first digit starts, then that's where you can then punch in. If it said 010, then you'd basically just do it anyway. So there's 000289 west. So always make sure that you click either north, west, east then your digits as you'll see it change so we can clear that and we can do it one more time just to show you guys so we've got north 51282 so the first thing we're going to do is north so number two is north so we'll click north and you'll see the north there and then we'll put 51282 we'll click in insert and then we've got west 000289 so as it says east we've got number four which is west so when we click west it will go to west and we've got 000289 so if we put 289 in there's the three zeros that we originally had so once we click insert from there that is the inertial position set up make sure that the waypoint is on zero here when you do set up and position here so the next part of our waypoints now we have to get in the waypoints for the aircraft so we're going to switch to waypoints and we're going to flick this little box that says zero we're going to put that to number one now as zero is our first part where the aircraft stands and that is our IRS position pretty much so next is waypoint number one so if we were saying we was leaving out on the Brookman's Park 7 as we can either do VOR to VOR or if you've got the coordinates you can put in the the uh, SID star etc. So we've got the Brookman's Park 7 Foxtrot and we're going to say from leaving Heathrow Airport we're going to be going to the Delta 269 Delta. So we can see that it says North 51292. So we're going to hit North 51282. We're going to then click Insert and then below that we've got the West coordinates which is 000344 so we're going to hit west on number 4 and then we've got 000 344 so we'll just put 344 as the rest are zeros at the front we click insert and that is waypoint number 1 in we'll now switch the box to a number 2 and we can see underneath on the Brooklyn's Park 7 Foxtrot we've got the Delta 279 Foxtrot which is second down on the list which is going to give us north 51301 so again where number 2 is for north we've got north and then we're going to go 51301. Insert, 
And then we're going underneath to our west coordinates, which are 000375. So as we've got three zeros already, we'll put 375 as it's going to work backwards. So we'll click west and then 375 as it works backwards. And we've got 000 in front. So we'll click insert and that is waypoint number two. As we're in waypoint here, we are working off of the waypoints as we click up. It doesn't matter about zero to one. That's just where we're going to leave from waypoint zero and then we're going to go to number one. So on to waypoint number three, we've got then the Delta 305 Hotel, which is North 51339. So now we will put all of the coordinates in as we've got no zeros. So we've got North 51339. We'll click insert and then we'll go underneath to our west coordinates which are 000386 so again because it works backwards we'll click number four for west and then we're going to put in the 386 so 386 insert that in and that is waypoint number three and that's pretty much the gist if we wanted to do it quickly just to show you we've got the uh, delta so we go to chilton let's say so we'll go to Chilton, which is going to be uh, north 51374. So we go north 51374, and then we've got west, which is 311. So we go west 311, insert, and that's waypoint number four. Now, what I'm also going to show you guys as well is we can only put nine waypoints in. Once we get to the ninth waypoint, which is, uh, just say we've got uh, something in. So let's put something in. Let's put uh, Totrium, for example, just to say that that was our ninth waypoint on the arrival. So Totri is north at 51465. And we've got west, which is east, sorry, which is going to be uh, 118. So east, 000118. So let's say, for instance, that we've got all of these waypoints all filled up and we're coming to the end near to our last waypoint, which is number nine. So we'll say that if we change this, we'll just say that we are there. So let's just say, for instance, we are cruising now and we are at waypoint number eight. We're leaving to go to number nine, which is the last waypoint that we can put in on the SEBA. So what's going to happen is once it gets to number nine, it's then going to basically relap itself and then go back to uh, number one. So once it leaves number nine, it's basically going to say something along the lines of a nine to one. So before it does switch to relay number one, all of the waypoints before will now be clear to be re-entered. So you'll go back to number one and then you will carry on the process of the next set of waypoints after number nine. So it will just keep going around in a continuous circle, one to nine, back to one to nine. So that is pretty much how you get the IRS all aligned. Now, once the IRS is aligned, you can see that it'll say ready, ready, ready will pop up. And then once, and then once all the readies do pop up, then you can uh, get it all done. So what you want to make sure you also have in as well is you want to make sure that you also have a remote on before you do anything. So if you don't, then the all the receivers are going to work on their own. So you have to manually input the initial position on all of them. As we can see here, because I didn't put the remote on, we can see that if we go to position, there is nothing there, you see. So we'll just quickly put these in just to show you. So if you don't put remote on, on all three at the start, when you start to program the first position for zero, then the uh, all the receivers won't talk to each other. So make sure that remote is on. That is 100%, which is why there is just one ready for the aligner two because the sievers the sievers all work independent. So for that we had the 5122. And we've got west 289. Okay. And if we just do the third one quickly, but if you have remote on at the start, it will, do, it will do all three and basically they'll all interact with each other, which uh, is something that you do want to do. So again, we'll do the positioning and we have the north 51282 and we've got west 289. 
Okay, so now they're all set in. They will all come to life and be ready. And once they are all come to life, you're just going to basically switch them all over into nav. Okay, so just one thing to remember, guys, before you start the sea up and start to put in the first waypoint from the positioning, just make sure that you hit remote on all three of the sievers. Now, it hasn't got it in this one, but when you start the flight, they will all say zero, and just make sure that you put remote on all three. That way, they will all interact with each other as they work independently from each other. So make sure remote is in and then they will basically liaise with one another the data that you input say you change waypoint it will change all three of them so they're all kept up to date with what's going on otherwise if you don't have the remote on and you just input the position for number one it won't do number two or three and that is why you'll then see overhead you'll get just the one ready light and the two will be out so make sure that remote is on before you do anything to see that so they can, can all talk to each other so that's it for the tutorial today on how to program the INS system. If it helped you, don't forget to uh, subscribe as there will be more tutorials coming as the 747 does have its own custom playlist now for the tutorial series. So I will be going over everything to do with the 747. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy flying the 747 and enjoy setting up the INS ready for your departures over the globe. Take care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.